Good morning and glory to God. Today is Friday, the 11th of August, 2017, and I am getting ready to capture on camera two ferals. Now, this one calico or tortoise shell I have only seen at night. So it looks to me if Bosco and she are buddies. And I wanted to get a video of this kitty cat. I still can't tell whether or not it has undergone T and R because I don't see that the ear has been tipped. So I, I know that uh, Bosco, the kitty on the right, on the right Bosco right here was T and R earlier this year but the tortoise shell I do not know so again it's morning I'm getting ready to go to work it's just after 6 a.m. and um, oh, wait a minute she might have been I can't tell boy if I could just sneak a little closer Bosco has been very cooperative. Oh, it looks as if she has already been. Yes, she has been. I see the ear. Yes. Okay. I can see that she has been. Yep, there's the ear. Yep, the right ear has been tipped or chipped or clipped. There he comes, Bosco. There he is. Look at him. I mean, it's been over a year, and this kitty cat just was so unapproachable. And um, I am going to just have to leave them alone because I've got to get ready for work. So, again, I can see that her ear has been nipped. And um, I'll just pass the word. The individual is hoping to... Um, trap and uh, this kitty cat but she's already been nipped so and I can see very obviously that she has been TNR my goodness what a beautiful kitty cat but uh, this is the first time I have ever seen her during the daytime and I just feel so so bad for the kitties uh, but I'm so glad to be able to put food down and uh, some are totally unapproachable but as it goes if they can survive all the things that could happen to them, you know, disease. I can see there's something going on with her, her um, left ear, her right ear. And um, as I'm looking at her, it's actually her right ear. But um, I don't know, otherwise she's, she looks healthy, beautiful little girl. Yeah, or, yeah, girl. I'm assuming that she's a girl because she's a little smaller. But uh, there we are. So Friday morning early. I've got to get ready for work. And I say thank God that I'm seeing this kitty cat this morning. So I'll pass the word on to the lady who does the TNR that this kitty cat has already been take care of and I'll somehow get this video to her but I can see obviously uh, the ear let's see her ear has been been clipped so let's see and before I move on and try not to be so shaky just gonna pan around the front yard here Do a little bit of advertising for the Lord and our Blessed Mother there, a statue of Our Lady. Ever vigilant, ever concerned about us. And then there again is Bosco, the one who probably started all of this, bringing the stray kitty cats, the stray kittens to this house. But I will feed them as long as I can. And then I'm gonna pan around to the front. And then here is a little bit of something. I made this uh, house, a little house for the kitties and they refused to use it and that's all right. And then here is a statue of St. Francis of Assisi that my friend Chuck purchased to place 
as a marker on the grave of Francis Sean, my kitty cat, who passed away on Friday past, the August, uh, the 5th of August. And uh, so I'm going to take this statue of St. Francis and place him uh, at the grave of little Francis Sean. Francis Sean was over, I think, 13 years or, or so. And um, just passed away kind of suddenly. And so as I sign out, I just say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And everything that I do, I want to give praise to Jesus Christ. And ask the Blessed Mother, Mother, Blessed Mother Mary with St. Joseph to intercede for me that I may be more Christ-like today in all my interactions. Everyone who crosses my path, may they see Jesus loving, kind, patient, merciful, concerned uh, for, for every, everyone I see. So, blessed be God, glory to Him always.